Hi everyone, I'm Bar here. This report concerns a discursive analysis of Indian masculinity on the social media platform reddit.com. This assignment was written in partial fulfillment of the IICS 638 Contemporary Issues in Communication course taught by Professor Wendy Leeds Herbert. My research question is, quote, what are North American Reddit users' opinion on slash perceptions of 21st century and or second generation Indian male immigrants with regard to their value in the North American dating market? So what's Reddit? Reddit.com is a, quote, social media, social news aggregation, web content reading and discussion website, unquote. These unique features combined with Redditor's ability to remain anonymous make Reddit a social media website unlike any other. Reddit is the 25th most visited website in the world and is quite popular in North America. Due to time constraints and lack of expertise at using sophisticated search algorithms, I used a third-party website, searchreddit.com, that aggregates and retrieves relevant simple search queries from Reddit. The keywords that I used as my search query were, quote, Indian plus men plus dating, unquote. In all, I collected six comments from various forums of Reddit called subreddit to analyze how the users are expressing their opinions on Indian masculinity in the North American dating context. Rather unsurprisingly for an anonymous forum, Redditors' views on Indian masculinity were rather bleak and depressing. A user on subreddit r asktrp commented, and I quote, The immigration guys, they do poorly because of their foreign accents and bo bad body odor, so we won't even focus on them. Even then, with the Indian guys I have met who were raised here, they weren't any better. Many of them come off as very geeky, strange, socially awkward, and I almost feel like Asperger's is a huge issue to that community. There are other similar comments recorded within Reddit. It is the historically patriarchal culture of India that is seen as the root cause behind Indian male chauvinism and entitlement. In other words, Indian masculinity is the reflection of the traditional Indian patriarchy. Furthermore, through their commentary, Redditors attempt to contra-distinguish contra Indian culture from the Western culture. This is not a new phenomenon. Journalist Nash Jenkins of The Atlantic quotes media psychologist Sri Vidya Subramaniam who states, and I quote, Indianness is predicated upon a sense of occidental superiority complicit with a sort of cultural imperialism by establishing Indian peoples as inferior and incompetent who need to be civilized, unquote. Indian male, like the Indian culture, is thus the active other in the Reddit discourse. Durbin defines othering as a notion that refers to, quote, differentiating discourses that lead to moral and political judgment of superiority and inferiority between us and them and within groups, unquote. Our classmate Anne Sophie cited a paper from Hua Hanford and Young whereby she states that the normative practice within social science to categorize people into we and the others does not take into account the concepts such as acculturation and complex relationship among individuals. Thus in conclusion, Redditors commit the error of painting the Indian masculinity and the Indian culture by extension through the mainly Western lens. Surprisingly, this particular view of Indian masculinity has remained static since the British colonial period of the late 19th and the early 20th century, despite Indians migrating en masse to the global West in the interim period. This small study is dedicated to any reader who is interested in doing a critical online discourse analysis pertaining to migration. Reddit is one of the social media websites that has remained understudied but poses significant potential for future research studies within intercultural communication and beyond. I hope this paper acts as a starting point in analyzing the cultural prejudices online users harbor behind the veil of anonymity, echoing what Oscar Wilde once famously wrote, quote, give a man a mask and he will show his true face.
Thank you for watching.